Hi everybody, it's Martin from the Washboard Resonators. On this video, two things. Number one, gonna do a guitar story. Number two, it's a review of this very beautiful Resonator ukulele. Roll it. And we're back. So I just bought this National Resophonic Style O ukulele. I found it on eBay and there's quite a cool story behind it. So I'm going to add this to the, the playlist of, of guitar story videos about other instruments that I've got. Um, so let me share that with you first, then we'll get down to listening to this and a review of the features and the sound. So in the Washboard Resonators, we use ukulele on, you know, a few songs in the set. And I've been playing acoustically into, into the microphone while I sing. Uh, but because my, my other uh, resonator guitars are plugged in, um, sometimes on some stages you don't really get the, 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 the ukulele volume that you want. So I've been looking for a ukulele that I'm happy to drill and put a pickup in. And you know what? It would have been lovely to have a resonator ukulele to match my other instruments. Well, do you know what? Um, about maybe two months ago, this ukulele came up on eBay and I contacted the seller saying, hey, would you uh, be interested in doing a deal off eBay to save some fees and PayPal fees? And they said, you know what? No, somebody's done. Uh, someone's put a bid on. We'll let it go. Well, I was out touring with the Washboard Resonators and I missed bidding on this. And I was going to bid. It was about an hour and a bit away from where I'm in Leeds. Collection only. And usually that gets a better price. So I was just like, yeah, do you know what? I'll bid on that. Well, do you know what? I, I, was, uh, I was setting up. I was sound checking. And then I just forgot to bid. And then... It, the thing had gone for, for a very cheap price, um, just over a thousand pounds. And um, I think these sell new for about, I think about two and a half to three thousand pounds when these, in, these are, are new, you buy these new. And by the way, this is new. I mean, I've not even, this has never been gigged. The original owner played it and maybe, maybe three times, took it out of the case three times, put it away. Um, so let's get to the story of, uh, of how I came by this and more. I was very disappointed that I missed this and I was still looking around for another ukulele and then I got a message on eBay out of the blue um, a few days ago saying hey would you like to uh, would you still be interested in buying that ukulele the seller still hasn't paid the seller um, sorry the buyer still hasn't paid they're messing me about it seems to be some old guy saying you know I might get my daughter to pay but you have to post it and just being really weird so I said yeah I'll come and get it I rang the seller, and actually, to my and, and and you know, I started talking about resonators and history. And then it, the seller, uh, the lady, actually wasn't even a player; it wasn't even her ukulele, which I thought was kind of odd. I just assume if I'm de dealing with people that are selling these things, they know exactly what they've got. So I had to apologise for like being really boring and talking about you know resonator instruments. Um, but she was fine about it. And she said, anyway, come and get it. So. Um, she gave me the dress. It was a church, a converted church, right in the beautiful countryside and the, the, the mountain range, the Pennines, outside of Manchester in England, about an hour away. So I um, went over and when I got there, you know, she let me in, we had a cup of tea and we looked at the instrument and we did, we did the bank transfer. And the story is this. It's not to pry. I don't want to say too much now, but... Um, Put it this way, um, uh, she said that, you know, this belonged to my sort of ex-husband. Something happened and he had to get out of the house with all he could carry, some clothes. He took one of his guitars, he had to get out of the house very quickly. And now he's living in uh, Thailand or somewhere. So, so the lady was saying, yeah, she's got the two children. She's paying all the mortgage herself. She said, I'm just going to, I'm getting rid of all this stuff. This, you know, something she could sell. It'll go towards paying the mortgage or whatever. So, um, I mean, goodness knows what happened. I don't really want to know. But um, that might explain why, you know, this, this beautiful brand new instrument, you know, came to be here with me for a good price. And you know what? She was happy because, you know, I do this professionally. I play resonators, I collect resonators. I'm interested in the, the history of resonators. Our channel has lots of resonator information. And she felt that it was going to the right place. It's going to get used, it's going to pay, it's going to help me pay my mortgage. Um, I'm going to use this for a long time. 
So before I get to the review of this instrument, then um, you can help us in return and, and it's much appreciated. So um, like and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. Uh, but what you can also do, uh, and the best thing to do is to join the mailing list. It's in the description, click on the little triangle at the bottom. Um, and while you're down there, heck, you know, you can do that buy us a coffee thing. You can uh, find us on, on our Spotify and Instagram. It all helps massively. So I'm doing a little review here because you don't see these kind of resonator ukes and quality resonator ukes often. So this is the second half of the video, I guess. Um, so what we're looking at here, this instrument, as I said, was basically unplayed. Now, one of the things I love about the National Resophonic Company, which bear in mind is a separate and newer company to uh, the old 1920s and 30s nationals. National Resophonic, the newer company, National, the old company. One of the things that I love is that the quality is so high on these things. And when you look at a new one of these, they um, just the fit and the finish is beautiful. Um, you just feel like you're looking at a real quality American made instrument. Um, the uh, the etching, the, the, the palm trees and the, and the trees, it's all so beautiful. This thing feels beautiful to hold and to look at. And um, the sound is gorgeous on this thing. You know what? I've not really played um, many resonator ukuleles in my life. Um, I am going to do a comparison of different... Ca I've got different kinds of ukuleles here. I'm going to do a comparison video. Um, so do check that out. That'll be out in the next week or two. But um, what I love about these is... Out of practically all the kind of ukuleles I've ever played, the um, there's a beautiful low mid very plummy, very plunky, beautiful low mid sound. They're maybe not as thin as, as, as a lot of, you know, wooden ones. So yeah, I, I love it for finger picking. I think finger picking this. Um, finger picking it is beautiful. I love it for, you know, soft strumming on the neck. Really, really nice. And then even the Formby stuff, I was just trying some Formby stuff on it um, when I got it home um, yesterday. And what I'm finding is it's not as snappy as my um, my banjolele for that Formby style. But if I just kind of concentrate on hitting the high string a little bit, you know, kind of cleanly, I can get that kind of Formby snap. <laughs> So you know what? It's very usable ukulele, very good quality. I'm really proud to have it. I'm really, um, I'm not glad what happened with that, whatever happened with that couple, but it happened. And, um, you know, I hope that, uh, you know, I'm glad that this, this ukulele has now gone to a good home. And I hope that that, um, that lady and that mother is okay. Um, she's a very, 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 very nice person. Um, so there we go. Um, do like and subscribe, do leave a comment, do join the mailing list, and we will see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.